Hi everyone, I've been really busy recently releasing the new Ampliant AI Studios. And while we've been doing this release and talking to customers and talking to people in shows, I've learned a huge amount about what people think about LLMs and generative AI. And it's fascinating how much mythology exists around AI and LLMs, and it's due to the magical capabilities that they seem to have. So in this video, I've collected together seven of the most common misconceptions about LLMs and AI, and I'm going to explain why they are wrong. So let's waste no more time. Let's get to it. Number one, LLMs are just large databases. You may think LLMs are like enormous databases storing a vast amount of information. While they do learn from large data sets, they are not storing and retrieving that data and those facts. In fact, they have sophisticated algorithms like those of OpenAI that help understand the semantics and the patterns inside language and the data. Imagine you're having a conversation with a friend. You're not just repeating facts and data verbatim. You're actually using your understanding of the language and the context that you're in to have that conversation. And LLMs work in a similar way, and that's why there's so much more than a giant database. Number two, LLMs get everything right. It's easy to assume that because LLMs are so sophisticated and so advanced, that they will always provide accurate and reliable information. However, this isn't always the case. LLMs have their limitations like any technology. They can generate text that sounds convincing, yet it can be completely wrong. Because when LLMs don't have the facts, they'll just hallucinate the details. For example, they could provide a detailed explanation of a historical event that never actually happened. And this is because they generate the text based on patterns of the data they were trained on, which can sometimes lead to errors. So while LLMs are super powerful, it makes sense to verify their output. Number three, LLMs can understand emotions. Because LLMs can generate such human-like text, people often believe that they actually can understand emotions. However, LLMs don't understand emotions, they don't have feelings, and they definitely don't have a consciousness. They can mimic emotional language because they've been trained on data sets that have emotional expressions within them. If you ask an LLM about a happy memory, it can generate a heartfelt response, but it's just using those patterns it learned during its training. Number four, LLMs can replace human writers. This is one of the most sensitive subjects there is right now. People believe that LLMs can completely replace human writers and copywriters. While LLMs can produce some really impressive text, they do miss that experience and nuance and creativity that you get from human writers. From a specific context, LLMs can generate content based on the patterns of the data they were trained on, but they can't generate truly original ideas. Human writers draw upon their individual personal experiences, their emotions, and their insights to craft truly original pieces of work. LLMs can augment human writers, but they can't replace that human touch. So while LLMs are hugely powerful tools, they can't replace human creativity. If you are enjoying this video so far, I'd appreciate if you could just take the time, press that like button to help this video get shared with many others. Number five, LLMs have personalities. You might think that LLMs have distinct personalities based on how they respond to your prompts. In reality, that perceived personality is just a reflection of the data they were trained on and probably how you put the prompt together. If an LLM feels friendly or formal, it's because it's learned those tones from the text it's been given during training. Depending on the context it's given, ChatGPT, Llama, and Claude can change its tone. And the context in this instance is the prompt that you give it. You can ask it to be friendly, to be formal, to be easygoing, or even talk like a pirate. It doesn't mean that LLMs have personalities of their own. They can simulate different styles of communication, but that's based on patterns, not personal traits. Number six, LLMs are perfect at every task. It's tempting to think that LLMs are the ultimate solution for all things text-based. However, they have specific strengths and weaknesses. 
LLMs excel at generating coherent and contextually relevant text, but they might struggle with highly specialist and niche tasks and topics. For instance, an LLM can generate a fairly convincing summary of quantum physics, but falter when asked about cutting edge research details. Also, certain LLMs perform some tasks better than others, such as generating content in local languages. So while LLMs are versatile, they're not perfect at every single task. Number seven, LLMs can think like humans. One of the biggest misconceptions I come across is that LLMs can think like humans. LLMs don't have a conscience, awareness, or reasoning abilities. They process text based on patterns and probabilities, not through understanding and thought. When you interact with an LLM, it might seem like it's thinking, when actually what it's doing is only predicting the next most likely word or phrase. Although this method seems simple, it does generate some really impressive text. But despite that, it doesn't mean that it thinks or understands like humans do. Large language models are truly powerful tools and they'll change how we generate, how we create and interact with content. However, it's essential to understand their limitations and not be swayed by the misconceptions. They don't have personalities, they don't think like humans and they aren't perfect at everything. And they truly can't understand human emotions and they can't replace human writers and creativity. When you understand these misconceptions, you can better appreciate the strengths and limitations of LLMs. They are remarkable tools, but they're just that, they're tools. If you enjoy this content and you'd like to see more of it, why not subscribe to my channel? But now it's time to go and it's time for me to say thank you, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.